SMT Nation, we back. We've got a story to look at here. I actually want to do this in two pieces. The first thing is I want to go over Sue Merrick's take. She's been using the Verizon 5G fixed wireless access service, right? Their their cellular home internet. She's been using it for a year. So she shared her experience over the course of the last year. I want to go over those things, but then I also want to talk about what's coming down the pipeline. We've got a very good update that's important to a lot of you out there who are currently using the service or may consider using it in the future as a prospective replacement to cable or even fiber, right? It's always about pricing and reliability. So let's take a look at these items today. All right, I'll go ahead and link this in the description for you, and then we'll kind of look at all the pieces here. Okay, Verizon's fixed wireless access service, one year in. Sumeric has been using this service for a year. Uh, when they first installed the millimeter wave nodes, she discussed how she signed up for it, how she set it up. Uh, we covered that in a video several months ago. All right, now at the time when she first started using the connection, uh, she was logging 1.7 gigabits per second downstream, 25 megabits per second upstream. She says currently in the corner of her office of her home, she was getting 350 down and 14 up. So that's a speed difference just based on the fact that it's on the other side of the home and it's far from the gateway. So very serviceable. Nobody is going to be disappointed in 350 down, 14 up, right? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you could probably get some hardware from Verizon to repeat the signal and maybe improve it. But anyways, it's serviceable. It's fine. Uh, so what she ended up doing was she ended up cutting her old provider off and going full time with the Verizon 5G home internet. And she's had it the whole time. It says here, even after the year, she only has an occasional slowdown or what she calls slower than normal. And it happens in the morning. Doesn't last for a long time. Glitches and delays are rare. It says upload and download speeds are still fast. Typically logging speeds between 500 megs and one gig on the downlink. 25 meg uplink and it says speeds of around 150 to 200 downstream 10 megabits upstream in the office so if she wasn't speed testing it she might not even notice the difference that's essentially what she's saying all right now something that we learned a few weeks ago and she notes this here is that verizon fixed wireless access is going to be getting a new receiver the most important thing about this receiver is it does not have to be put indoors it can be installed outdoors why is this important to a person like Sue Merrick who has the millimeter wave version of this? Millimeter wave is a very touchy, finicky, and brittle connection. It's an ultra high frequency. In most instances for millimeter wave, it's probably going to be the 39 gigahertz variation N260. It's a very high frequency. So it's easily going to be impacted by different types of obstructions, including windows. Now, the signal does get in, right? It still holds up just fine, but you can improve so much of that connection just by improving the signal. You can strengthen it, in, improve the SINAR, improve the uh, RSRP values. When you strengthen it, you're going to get much more capacity and throughput. That's going to help Verizon in a big way, especially those customers connected to it. All right, so it's waterproof. You can put it outdoors. Folks, we're going to be seeing uplinks improve tremendously. All right, that's usually the first thing that pays the price or pays the piper in these types of connections with millimeter wave. I mean, you'll go from like 300 megabits downlink to like 60 just from a window, you know, uh, or lower, right? So it, it'll stay connected, but I mean, man, that, that'll make a huge difference. And then the new receiver is not only more capable and it's not only waterproof, but it's 60% smaller and lighter and that bodes well for the consumer, making it easier to install. So improving the signal, reducing signal loss, not having to deal with in-building penetration so much, being more energy efficient, being smaller, space efficient, having Qualcomm's most recent next-gen 5G fixed wireless access technologies with things like spectrum aggregation, so maybe combining more channels, dual connectivity capabilities to aggregate bandwidth for downlink and uplink, is going to increase capacity in a big way. The new receiver also contains multiple antennas, can switch between Verizon's 5G spectrum bands. So if C bands around, you'll connect to that. If millimeter wave becomes available, future proof, you can connect to that. And it also connects to all bands on LTE. So if it's CBRS, any of those faster bands, you've got full connectivity to it. 
these receivers, this is where the news comes into play. Customers in select cities in the next few weeks. Now, I'm not sure if that means this is going to be the trial markets. Those will be the beta testers, but they'll be sending them out to people within the next few weeks. And then a national launch planned for early 2023 will assume Q1. No word on when the new receiver will come to Denver or if she qualifies for it. Something tells me she'll be the first to know if and when it does. Something to be excited about, folks. This is when we talk about Verizon's millimeter wave 5G home internet. It is essentially wireless fiber. It is the realest of all forms of fixed wireless access. Don't get me wrong. I love C-band. I think mid-band is great. But millimeter wave is the GOAT when it comes to capacity. It is an absolute cheat code. It is made for use cases like this. I love it for mobility too. But man, is it made for anything better than fixed wireless access? Like that is a dream come true to some people. So if you got a cable provider who's stinking up the joint, if you got a DSL provider, if you've been on services that are unreliable, hopefully this comes. And Verizon's going to continue to build out their millimeter wave network. Uh, they've got 17,000 nodes put up every year. Hopefully some of those come your way. Tell me what you guys think of this update from Sumeric and our year of usage. Tell me what you think of the new router potential. Are you now more interested in the service with these solutions? Love to hear what you have to say on it. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter, my Gmail address for all business inquiries, and my Patreon page. Hit the join button. Get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. Man, I'm loving the competition here. Sound off, guys. Can't wait to read what you have to say. We out this piece. Peace.